And about, I think we, uh, we should all be united in that. Did you condemn the protesters that took over the Capitol during the Kavanaugh hearings? No? The Kavanaugh hearings, they banged on the door of the Senate, interrupted proceedings. Did you condemn those, Evan? Devised the plot. He hid it from the public. And then he voted to protect himself and others who were involved. He embarrassed Utah and put our freedom at risk. Mike Lee calls himself a constitutional conservative, but he's actually a constitutional deserter. We will beat Mike Lee and defend our democracy. And if we do it here in Utah, the rest of America will follow. It must. Thank you. Evan. Evan. How's it? How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. I've been following you for a long time. Great. What's your name? Adam. Adam. Great. Are you Are you with someone or just independent? Oh, you are. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, are you reporting or? Yeah, I'm recording right now. Are you re Are you a reporter? Just a citizen journalist. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. Uh, we're on our way to an event. What's yeah. your name again? My name's Adam. Adam what? Bartholomew. Well, Bartholomew? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, hey, great I just to wanted you. to know if you had condemned the you know, 10, 11 months of riots that we had previously as well. 10 or 11 months of riots. Yeah, hey, you know, yeah, yeah look, I, no, that's okay. Look, I, I am opposed to chaos and disorder and to violations of the rule of law, and I oppose it from the extremes on the right and the left. What and about, I think we, uh, we should all be united in that. Did you Thank condemn you. the protesters that took over the Capitol during the Kavanaugh hearings? No? The Kavanaugh hearings, they banged on the door of the Senate, interrupted proceedings. Did you condemn those, Evan? Didn't think so. So let's welcome Jake Thank you all for coming tonight. Every single person has a voice in the outcomes of our country, and that is at the ballot box, and every vote matters. The very last thing I want to mention today, and something that I think sets us apart here tonight, and that is the third pillar of my candidacy. Tonight, yes, we are upset, and we are angered by the things that we witnessed a year ago today at our nation's capital. Gatherings like this fill me with a sense of optimism that none of that outrage could ever trump. No pun intended. <laughs> we just heard from Evan McMullen. He comes from the CIA. He's got a heck of a background. Everyone okay? Would yep. you mind saying and spelling your name and then uh, maybe tell us uh, your title? And obviously you're running against Burgess, uh, Congressman Owens. So, uh, yeah, I guess name and, and uh, spell for us first. Okay. Yeah. My name is Jake Hunsaker. That's J A K E H U N S A K E R. And uh, uh, officially, you're running against uh, Congressman Owens. Yep. Uh, I'm running against uh, Burgess Owens in the GOP primary this coming June. I filed last August uh, for uh, the race, and we've been uh, meeting with voters and constituents throughout District 4 ever since then. It's time for a better brand of politics. It's time to expect more of our leaders. And it's time to get away from this extremism and this inclination to embrace conspiracy theories and get back to real business that matters to me. I heard you up there saying that January 6th and watching the riot unfold inspired you to run. Is that true? I mean, connect the, the one year to the one year and then obviously you spoke up there, so I'm imagining you want to touch on what happened a year ago today. but. Did that influence your decision to run and, and you know, uh, go up against the company? You know, like I said, one of the things that uh, January 6th did for me was really show me how far we have drifted from a hopeful, productive reality in Washington, D.C. And we put up with that from our politicians because it's all that we have. It's the only options that we have. And so as a concerned citizen, I thought on January 6th, if this is the kind of leadership that we have right now that doesn't acknowledge the truth, how our sacred democratic processes were desecrated by a handful of extremists. Anybody else? I, mean, I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for your
three times. All right. Is that boring? <laughs> Jake, did you, oh. did you speak out against the uh, protesters that occupied the Capitol and banged on the doors and interrupted Senate proceedings during the, the Kavanaugh confirmation hearings? Uh, so, could give me more context. Which ones are you talking uh, during about? During just, Justice Kavanaugh's confirmation hearings, a large group of protesters occupied the Capitol, banged on the doors of the Senate, and interrupted proceedings. I was wondering if you spoke out against that as well. Listen, uh, peaceful protests are always preferable to violent ones. That, this is the way we affect change in this country, through peaceful demonstrations and peaceful protests and making our voices heard at the ballot box. Uh, you know, anything that strays into violence, in my view, is unacceptable. But uh, the thing that makes January 6th stand out above, you know, outside of any other kind of violent protest that we've seen recently is that it was targeted and it was, uh, it, it took place right at the root of some of our nation's most sacred processes. The peaceful transfer of power is one thing that our nation esteems and holds above all else, and it sets us apart from almost every other country in the world, and has set us apart since our founding. And, and that is something that Americans have to hold dear if we want to hang on to this democracy. Of course, any kind of uh, violent protest is destructive ultimately, and, and doesn't, uh, doesn't um, fulfill the objectives of the people participating. Uh, we are here tonight because January 6th was unprecedented and personal to our democracy, and that's what we're talking about. Okay. In your mind, how does it uh, compare to the nine or 10 months of writing and deaths? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta learn that if you're the...